Uh, I think me and you have talked about this before, uh, about kind of your environment shaping your style. Yeah, totally. Um, totally. And like, yeah, look, looking back at my movement, for sure, my environment shaped my style because I have, and I, if I'm being honest, I don't even really like it. Uh, but but it is what it is, and it's kind of like how I think about lines now. Uh, our spots in in Portland, especially the ones that I that I went to a lot, were relatively small and compact so i'm mm -hmm. thinking about like irving park for example sure. uh if, if you wanted to do a long line you would have to go to one end and then turn around and come back and then turn around <laughs> and, come back. and my style has so much of that in it i i'm always starting in one place and then coming back to the next uh and most of the time it's because i'm limited on how much linear like flow i can actually do like how much forward i can make until i hit a spot that oh well there's nothing else in front of me turn around and come back uh so dude it would, it would have been so sick to be in a city that like i could just go wow no for sure you know that was a theory i had i mean it might have been 10,000 or 2010 or 2009 or something it occurred to me that that the environment shapes the tracer yeah. And it was clear to me that tracers in England would develop a particular style based on the obstacles they had. And a tracer in Portland would develop a different style. Mm -hmm. But I've evolved that theory to be something more like it's the environment plus the creativity of the individual. Because you get someone like Pasha and his early videos was he's got like a half tire buried in the sand and some bar, you know, and, and it's like, oh, like if my creativity was so limited in the movement capacity or maybe my ability was so limited that I would have said I can't train here. Right? It's not a spot. It's, it's, it's not a spot. Here. But yeah. Pasha, in his in his literal, I would call him a genius in terms of his movement creativity and the way he innovated in a way that nobody had before him. Like he found stuff to do. So um, I don't think it's just the environment. I think it's the environment plus the creativity. But yeah. there's no doubt that those go, you know, they ping off each other and, and such. Definitely.